A lot of people use over-the-counter nasal sprays to treat seasonal allergies, but with so many options out there, it's really hard to know what's the best choice. Let's get some expert advice from Dr. John Overholt, who's a board-certified allergist with the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Centers. Nice to have you with us. Thanks, Mira. This is a problem I have. I know a lot of people have mm -hmm. it. So when you see thousands of products out there, what do you choose? How do you know where to start? Well, it's hard to know. There are tons of different options out there, and so we're here to sort of try to lay out for people what they should be starting with and the differences between the over-the-counter nasal sprays. Okay, so, you brought some products along. Right, we've got decongestant sprays here, we've got nasal steroid sprays, which were formerly prescription, now available over-the-counter, mm -hmm. and then just simple saline uh, rinses over here. Okay, all right, so let's start with the decongestants. Right. So decongestants, what they do is they shrink down the blood vessels in the nose and immediately open up the nose and give people relief from that nasal congestion. The problem is that if you use them too much, for more than several days when you stop, you get rebound so that the nose becomes worse than it was before and you need it more frequently. And right. so you have to be very, very careful when you use those, although they're safe for short-term treatment. Okay, all right. What about the steroids? So nasal steroids for, have been around since the early 70s, but mostly by prescription and only in the last year or so have they become available over the counter. They're the best medicines for nasal allergies. Uh, they treat the most symptoms, they give people the most relief but they have to be used regularly in order to be effective. They're not a medication that you can take a day here and a day there and expect them to work. So they need to be used for several days to really achieve maximum benefit. And would you just keep using it throughout the allergy season? As long as you know what your allergy season is. Mm -hmm. And you can always check on the Allergy Asthma Sinus Center website. We post uh, the uh, pollen counts every day and on our Twitter feed too. And once the pollen starts to die down, then you can back off the medication. But keep doing it every day. Yes, yes. Okay. What about saline? Saline is a great treatment for people. It's very, very cheap. It's very effective, devoid of side effects, and does a great job at removing uh, the pollens, the allergens, the irritants, and helping open up the nose and even sort of drying out the nose a little bit. Are all of these safe options for kids? Yes. They are? Yes. Okay. So at what point would we know, okay, these over-the-counter things are not really working for us. Mm. We need to really see a specialist. Right. If, if you've used really the nasal steroid sprays for several days and you're still having bad symptoms, and that time it's really, it's time to figure out what your allergies are and what your other options are for treatment. And the best person to do that is always a board certified allergist. So when you come in to see you, what are you gonna do? We'll take a good history and physical, We'll do some allergy testing to see what a person's individual allergy profile is. And based on that, then we can recommend specific treatment options. Yeah, and, and those are going to be a lot more effective than the over-the-counter. That's correct, yes. Yeah. yes. Can you manage or completely cure allergies? There's not a cure as such, but we can definitely alter the underlying allergies to give people better relief. Is this the worst time of the year for allergies? Springtime in Middle Tennessee is by far the worst time of year, yes. The, the pollen is out there, the oak pollen, the cedar pollen is present, so people are starting to feel uh, the allergies out there in their nose. Yeah, good time to get a jump on it then. Start Indeed, treating get, now. Get ahead of the curve. Yeah, and probably your appointments are going to start filling up too, I imagine. <laughs> yes, <indeed. laughs> How many locations for the allergy asthma and sinus Nine centers? locations mm -hmm. in Middle Tennessee now. Okay. Uh, all board certified allergists. Okay. Good. Good information. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Meryl. We appreciate it. There are locations, as we said, for the Allergy, Asthma, and Sinus Center all over Middle Tennessee. You can find the one closest to you online at allergyasc.com.